What's up guys, so in today's video we are going to take a look at DIY Wi-Fi Jammer. It can disconnect any unwanted user from any network, even if you don't know one's password. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first step is to collect all the needed things. So the first thing you need is the Node MCU working on 2.4 GHz. You will also need a USB to micro USB cable to power it and to program it. And the OTG converter. That's all the parts you need. So let's proceed to step 2. So in the second step what we want to do is that we want to download all the necessary files for our Wi-Fi Jammer. So you will get a link in the description to download this. So visit that link and you will get something like this. ESP 8266D author version 2 page and there will be click here for the bin file so you want to click there then there will be version 2.0.5 the latest version right now and click on the ESP8D author version 2.0.5 4MB bin file and download it out then you want to go back to the menu where we had previously stopped and we want to click again here for the installation tutorial right here so as you click some window will pop out and you want to click again on flash download tools then on windows node mcu flasher and then scroll down and you will see two options windows 32 bit release or 64 bit re release and you want to download it per your requirement i am running on 64 bit so i'll download the 64 bit one now you want to click on this esp flasher file and at last scroll down and click download so after downloading that flasher now your second step is totally completed and let's proceed to the third step. Alright guys, so now let's connect our node MCU to the computer via a OTG cable and launch the application of the flasher. So after launching it you will get such an interface. Now go to configure and select the path of the file that we previously downloaded, the bin file. And here it is. Then go to advance set the baud rate to 230400 flash size to 4 megabyte and flash speed to 80 kilohertz and now SPI mode to DIO now go again to the operation and select the COM port in which you have inserted the node MCU and then finally click on flash so it will take about 1 to 2 minutes to flash it and as there appears a tick on here that means that your flashing is done so we will meet you after the flashing. So the fourth step is to connect your Wi-Fi jammer with the Android phone via OTG cable and then launch your settings and click on Pond network which was created by the node MCU and then type the password dauthor D -E a u t h e r and connect it so after connecting it you will get something like this now you want to go to the chrome or your browser and search for this particular ip address 192.168.4.1 then you want to click on scan apps so the blue LED will turn on and as soon as it turns off click on reload. So after doing this step there will be all the networks which are in your area would be scanned and listed over here. So now I will connect on my network then go to attacks and there will be types of attacks so here is the dot attack beacon and prog all the attacks information will be given below what will it do and how does it work if you want to start a attack just press on start and the blue LED on the node MCU will turn on which means that your attack is start you can also start two attacks 
and cover spawn but it is it is nice to have only one attack working at a time so what you want to do now is to go into settings so there are types of settings here and this one is to change your ssid and the password so no one can doubt on you and the third tab is of ssids which can make you control different types of 64 ssids which you can use in the beacon attack to make packages of the ssids so thank you guys for watching the video and i hope you like it i hope that you like my video so please subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button below to like my video and also comment on any doubts or queries and be tuned up with me so that I am going to post many interesting videos in future. So let's wrap it up.